Hi there folks, thanks for joining me. Today I'm on a wee wander from Inner Leithen in the Scottish Borders to Cala Shields in the Scottish Borders. I'm going from Inner Leithen to Trachair and from Trachair over to Cala Shields following the Southern Upland Way. Stick around and join me on the journey. Right, so that's me just at the start of the walk. I've just walked two miles from Inner Leithen to Trachair where I've now joined the Southern Upland Way and I'm going to follow that up over Minchmoor and then start looking for somewhere to camp for the night before heading on to Gala Shields in the morning. So there's still some remnants of the last snowfall. I'll be heading off down that way. And back that way is Minchmoor. The signpost's up there for the path that'll take you up to the viewpoint in Minchmoor. Just came down from uh, Cheesewell Spring. They say there's fairies there that are quite mischievous if you don't leave them an offer in a silver. Honey and honey, McVitties. In case you're watching, mate, stay tuned. I'll be putting a video up soon detailing some hatchet training. I know how eager you are for that. So, for much of my walk today, the route is following the Cross Borders Drove Road. Walking so far has actually been fairly pleasant. The weather's held off a wee bit, albeit it's a wee bit overcast and there's quite a bit of mist in a hill over there. But as you can see around here, it's maybe a wee bit brighter. Still got another couple of hours ahead of me. See how far I get before I stop for the night. And tomorrow should hopefully only have around about four or five miles to walk till my destination. Get back to you soon. And this is where my route now parts from the Cross Borders Drove Road, which heads off down there to the right. I'll be continuing up and over the hills, that way following the Southern Upland Way. I'm going because this pack is actually pretty light today. Uh, I think I might end up finishing my walk a little bit earlier. So I'm going to do one or two things. One, slow down. Or two, just keep pressing on and see what happens by the time I'm going to camp. Either way, and uh, This is for you, Eddie. I know how much you like your signs. So this signpost signifies that if I go right here, then that way, I head off to Yarraford. But my route continues on up this way.
It's now after two. And I'm possibly about five miles from Gala Shields. I'm going to keep plodding on. Um, obviously, I'm keeping an eye out for somebody to camp for the night. But I'm going to keep plodding on. So, failing anywhere to camp, I'll make it into Gala Shields and then make my way back home. Where I shall celebrate with a very special something something. And this one's an absolute stunner. Look at that. So as you can see, the path is uh, rather hard to see just here. And I think I've put these guys on high alert. So a bit of plod on down here just now, eh? Get out of this field. I just want to say to anybody that's considered going out on their own, please do. It's thoroughly enjoyable, not as frightening as you might think. I do enjoy going out on my own sometimes as well. I enjoy going out with friends for a wee bimble and an overnight camp. But when you go out on your own and you've got peace and quiet and time with your own thoughts, does actually make the trip quite quite enjoyable. I mean I've had nobody else on the path to me today at all so far. There's been no complaining about sore feet, about the miles that are being walked today. No foolishness. It's been a nice wee break, one that I've needed. If you do go out and do anything like this yourself, make sure you're well equipped for the season. Make sure you've left the route card with someone at home in times that you should be arriving at your destinations. Also allow for times where you make contact with those at home as well, so that if you don't contact them, you know, they'll call for help. Bye, get out there and enjoy yourself.